Let's steal this mask and uh, skadoodle. I've been all around this camp now and I cannot find a single bed spread or anywhere to go to sleep. Oh, right. I'm wearing the mask. Kalachi! Kalachi! I'm gonna get ya. Get off me, you crazy hoe. Oh, man. Hello, and welcome back to Let's Get Frustrated with Far Cry Primal. This shit is fucking... Well, I took a little break, had something to eat. I've been playing the game for like three hours straight at that point. Still not very enamored with, uh... With this game? With, with this boss fight, I should say. The game is alright, but the... It's like kind of padded to shit this. Like, I feel like it could have been so much more than what it ended up being. <laughs> Great shooting. Cancel. God damn it, I'm not hitting her, am I? That's so strange. Now she's gonna rise to see a Yeah, I think my main uh, problem with the boss fight is that it's a bit unfocused. The challenge seems to, to kind of be derived mainly from like having to, to have enough resources to deal with a lot of different stuff. Now they're gonna come running out of there. And they'll have to deal with that saber tooth tiger. That's alright. Maybe it's my issue from not being like prepared to, to deal with all of these things. Oh! Stopped him in his tracks, didn't I? Let's just have a meet. Oh, that that was a takedown. Oh wait, should probably shouldn't have done that, but yeah, whatever. Oh damn, that's that's the end of me. Come on. Have a little chew on some choo choo. Can't can't take down that not fast enough. He gonna smash me. Oh, big boy gonna really smash me. Oh, oh, that was a takedown, but now I'm dead. That annoys me that that always happens. I'm almost tempted to like throw a skill on or something, but I'll probably have to do that every time I start, and I don't think I have enough skill points to um, to get any more health or anything. I'll have a look. I mean, fuck it, right? Wait, I can craft a new bow? E definitely. Definitely want to do that. Why, why? Have I been able to do that for quite a while and just not seen it? I don't know. Uh... One skill point, I'm I'm not this is not gonna help me in any way. Let's uh, get that in there. Hopefully this new bow is gonna do some more damage to her. Probably not though. Oop. Oh. Eat move. <laughs> Oh shit, what? That fire spread. Yeah. 
keeps bouncing off some shit here. Being less frustrated definitely helps with uh, with my performance there. Craft some more arrows. Maybe if I could tag enemies, this shit would be easier, but... So far, not so good. See if I can... Nope, that was not... Huh, that takedown I completely missed out on. Another takedown I completely missed out on. Oh, he gonna chuck a spear at me. Gotcha. Oh, I don't don't want to try to attack you because you just one shot me. Yeah, like that's gonna stop me begging for your life. Come on, that's chump shit. Oh, why did I do that? That was so dumb. <laughs> oh no. Oh, it's already starting. This is going great. Oh shit, I think I just fucked myself there. Ah, she's still shooting at me, annoying. Oh. Just, uh, just a bit too spooked to take advantage of that takedown, eh? Wait, what is going on here? Is that that fucking... No, it's not. Yeah, come with me, pussy. That's not a takedown. I was just expecting it, kind of. Oh, poor guy. Oop. Oh, come on. Eat. No, so Shit, what? Come on, what? I might just... Yeah, dad. Ah, oh, man. It's just, it's a few too many of them for me to deal with conveniently, I feel. Like, stealth is not really an option in this fight. Feels like. Maybe if I, if I'm a bit more patient. But yeah, I'm, I'm not having too much fun with this boss fight, so, uh. And also, I feel like it's not much fun watching me just, like, crouch and wait for them to come around. But I'll, I'll try. Hey, I'll try to be more patient. Because it seems like that's what's gonna reap any rewards. God damn it, what? And uh, the pussy is out of its cage. And I'm just gonna play the waiting game. I'm gonna be real calm, real collected. Should be a smooth operator about this. Just gonna get out of these bushes. She's she's hiding now. Alright. Uh. I'll see they spot me immediately. What was that? Was there something I didn't quite get there though? Mm -hmm. I guess he got me with a spare real good. Hmm. Oh well. I'm gonna try to be patient again. 
Oh, going straight for me, huh? Come on. Who set you free? Come on, I... Why did the chain takedown not... Oh, I was stuck in between two guys there. But why did the chain takedown not work? Was he too far away? Uh, I feel like stealth might not be the way to approach this situation. Oh, well, I'm going to try to be a bit more proactive here. Come on, try to heal. That's two down. I don't know how many to go. Okay, that's not reliable. I always think that I can... Come on, just don't stop running. The takedown thing shows up at the strangest moment. Shit. Okay, I'm just gonna try to get into this, try to treat it more like an arena, try to get away from them, and then choose my time to strike, right? Now I need to run fast, get out of here. God, I'm just like, where the fuck are they? That's that guy. Alright, that's one to go. He's above me. Come a bit closer to the ledge, dog. That it. Uh. Probably some sort of benefit to like getting those fire things down. I'm not seeing it immediately though. Just the fact that she can't go into cover. But that makes her movements more predictable to me. Oh wait, no. And there's one more, and then there's more guys to fight. I guess I'm gonna try to call in that beastie. They spot me very quickly. That, that's my beast, cool. Alright. Okay, I can dismiss you now. Cool. That's another one of those. I just want to need to stay away from him because that's one shot, one kill with that dude. 
Yeah, come down. Then. Oh, come on. Oh, that is so fucking lame. The fact that I get stuck in an animation and then it's like just one shot, one kill. Just trying to heal there, but fuck it. Oh, well. Okay, that's the first wave dealt with, I think. Now it's back to trying to bring her down to, to half health and then another wave while calling my saber tooth tiger. Oh shit, what the fuck is going on here? That fire is super effective. Dismiss that guy. Everything is on fire. Oh, fuck me. It's their fire bombs that are getting me. Oh, shit. This is so annoying. It's really, really hard to deal with their fire bombs because it's just. It really limits me from being able to run around or, like, stay in cover consistently. Ah. Uh. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Fuck it. It's always just gonna put me at a disadvantage. E, E, E. Oh, shit. That's not good. Holy shit, I cannot resurrect that animal now. Alright, come on. And then I dismiss it. So I think this is further than I've gotten before. Uh, that was a waste of a good piece of hardwood. That's what your mom told your dad last night. If it wasn't for those, like, enemy reinforcements, I'd be... I'd be not doing so bad. But yeah, th this next wave is gonna be hell, I'm sure of it. Oh. I guess I'll call in my saber tooth for this one as well. Spare for this guy. Oh shit! Come on, come on. Let me let me run through this animation. Fuck me. That's another one of those fuckers. 
Stop with me! Oh, thank God. Now I just have to heal my beast. Without getting one-shotted by that fuck. Ah, shit. Another ranged enemy. E, 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 e. Oh shit. Oh, come on, eat. Fucking eat. Oh my god. I have no idea what killed me there. It's like they can kill me from, from such a, a long ways away. Their fucking fire thing. <sighs> Does that mean I don't have my saber tooth anymore? Thank god. Uh, make a berserk bomb. Throw it at them. Oh, come on, that was not what I was trying to do. Make another berserk bomb, why don't you? Oh, uh, god damn it. Oh, uh, it's just their fire grenades kill me really quickly. Well, I don't feel like my fire grenades are gonna have half as, like, much of an effect on them. Also, it's because I, I kind of suck at throwing them. I guess I'll use the fucking sting bombs. Does that kill them in one go? Seemingly, yeah. Alright. I've been stupid not to use this then. Oh god, this is... Oh god damn it. Oh shit! God damn it. Oh shit, dad. Can't even get back up from that. That was just the first wave. I'm getting fatigued by this shit. Shit. Ah, oh, that's a good little cat. Oh, come on, let's let's get back to it though. Oh, Batari got injured. Can't do a takedown on that guy. He can fuck up my beast though. <laughs> I would like to cancel out of this animation now, please. That bitch has an arrow just sticking out of her face. Oh shit. Oh, my God. 
Don't pat him too much, because we need to keep going here. that was the last of them. God, I'm pretty fucked now. Oh shit. Oh shit, that's not good. Okay, cool. Keep running, keep running. This could be a one shot, one kill for me. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, come on. Oh 
Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Have meat. Missing meat to heal animal. There we go. God damn it, this might be it or I'm probably gonna die. I feel so hardcore like I'm gonna die. Ah! Get her, beast! Oh, she she got him in one go. Oh, shit. Just heal up. God damn it, finally! Oh my god! I'm not even seeing straight. Oh, uh, I guess this would have been satisfying, but Jesus Christ. Well, it's just... Tell me in the comments that I suck. Please. Get out of here, bitch. God damn it. That awkward fucking cunt had me going for nearly two hours. Pretty probably more than two hours. Is this the end of this miserable fucking experience? Everything was good in the Winja Village. Great. Uh, happy ending. The end. Oh, man. I'm so sorry. This has just been... I, I've just been... It's like nearly 5 o'clock in the morning. Quarvati guava! Quarvati! Quai battery ye bad! Let's drink some more brains. This is... What are we going to do now, though? It's good. Paluhu Sakwamat. Winja Wakwas Takat. Guarvetishwa. That's me. Wantar Ya Battery Hushanchi. It was not fun, let me tell you. It is Papi Sushayu. Shaya. Oh my god, this is so lame. Hey Kuska. And then he died from food poisoning. <laughs> Let me tell you about last night, if only I could remember it. It was crazy, bro. You should have been there. We drank brains. It was... Oh man, hey buddy! What's up? You saved my ass! Tushi. Yeah, you deserve this. Oh man. Come on. Come on. You know you want it. Yeah. Good buddy. So, what? I have more quests now? 
<sighs> what the fuck does that guy want? Oh no, I, I'm so done with playing this game. I don't want to play this game anymore. I just wanted to, to roll credits. Is he gonna roll credits? This just does not miss you. Oh man. That was just so not fun at all. Just when I was starting to have fun with Far Cry Primal, it just threw that shit at me, and it was way too much for me. Not not enough of a good gamer, hardcore man to deal with that shit. That was fucking terrible. Roshani's hut? What? Well, what's going on here? Can I... Can I... Is, is that the quest? To build more shit. Uh, I don't know, man. Like, I'm gonna check out if that was, like, the proper end of the game. Don't be surprised if I don't make any more videos on this game. Because that shit had me fucking stumped. That was fucking terrible. Um, if this is my last um, Far Cry Primal video. Let me just gather my thoughts there. Uh... What did I think of this game? I think right out of the gate, I didn't like being confined to the bow and arrow. I, I've grown to like it more. I even, I liked even less uh, having to use melee weapons to the point where I didn't really want to. Uh, that, almost, that also grew on me. I would say that the melee weapons are far more functional than they initially appear. Um... Or then you would really want them to be in a Far Cry game, seeing as you're usually just, you're pretty much all the time just using melee weapons for takedowns and that's it. Um, I would still say melee weapons are, they're alright, they're far from as complicated as they should be. They don't really work into an arena style shooter, I feel. You just run around charging up your attacks and then letting them go on the nearest enemy. Sometimes... Uh, they won't be in range and you'll miss and it's incredibly frustrating a lot of the time You'll go in to kill something and you'll take damage as you're trying to do that. I guess if I uh, Spent more time with the game Recreationally actually gotten lost in it leveled up my skills leveled up my health I would have been not as frustrated with the last boss But them's the breaks that it was it was that was zero fun for me uh, pretty much every single part of it felt frustrating. I felt like I was kind of getting shoehorned into to a bunch of situations that I didn't really want to be in, where I didn't have as much um, choice as I would have liked, given that I'm kind of confined to a bow and arrow and um, melee weapons. Um, the melee weapons doing different amounts of damage felt a little bit RPG-like to me. I feel like if you swing a double-handed club at someone's head, they should pretty much be, like, just gone. I think, like, they could have had different modifiers that you upgraded. Uh, like, for example, that had more reach or that you could throw it longer. Off the top of my head, that's what I'm coming up with. It's not very good. It just felt a bit limited to me. I know other people felt like it was more than enough. It was satisfying and you always had, like, a bunch of different tools. Also, in that last uh, boss arena, it occurs to me that placing traps would have probably been beneficial to me. I was just stressed out and kind of tired with the game. I'm sorry. I don't think anyone's actually listening to this, but my final thoughts. The story is... Um, man, it's like hard getting invested into. I think all of the Far Cry stories um, have had that issue where it's kind of hard getting invested in the characters. But in this game, it really, really shows. Like, there's nothing really here that makes me feel... Um, like I'm playing out any sort of fantasy. I'm not really into like sleeping in the cold, getting hunted by wolves or like drinking other people's juices for fun. It might sound like it, but I, no, that's not that's not my bag. Like I kind of like the whole like military aesthetic and the whole kind of the way it's dealt with tribal cultures before, maybe not like respectively or like true to life, but it's fucking fun. It's like Maybe not something that a crutch that video games should rest on too much if they want to be considered, like, worthwhile narratives. But it's a video game. It's a fucking, like, shooter, right? 
I feel like a lot of these arenas would have worked better with different sorts of ranged weapons, and it gets a bit chaotic. Uh, at least for me personally. Um, when I was enjoying myself the most with the game, it was doing takedowns, it was sneaking up on people. I even liked getting spotted and running around and just smashing people in the head and stuff when I could, you know, have a bit more control or feel like... It was kind of in the cards that I, uh, how I played my cards, that that's who, the way it was gonna end up. That I'd either rush, like, or, or jump the gun, you know, whatever. Sorry, I'm struggling to kind of uh, collect my thoughts. I feel like the way it handles hunter gather stuff. I'm not even gonna say it's disappointing. I think it's just highlighting to me. Number one, I'm kind of really sick of survival games, and uh, number two, a lot of those elements in the main Far Cry series has never made too much sense to me. I think when you're in an environment where most things like ammo pouches, and if I can buy an AK-47 from a vending machine, I don't know why I can't buy, like, just some fucking, like, just some gear to go with it, like a three-point sling and some, like, ammo pouches and, like, a thingy to store a rocket launcher, um... War had an RPG. Um, I think Far Cry might um, might have been an even more interesting experience for me overall. Uh, the shooter aspects of the game, if they'd incorporated certain uh, elements of realism, uh, that and maybe not been as much about just all out gunfights. But then again, if you handed me that game, I'm 100% that I would eat my words and I would just want to run around doing takedowns and just like really just shoot some shit up. Um, but yeah, Far Cry Primal had a lot of um, moments where I really enjoyed myself during the combat. The overarching experience though of the open world, I found it very barren and kind of uninteresting. There wasn't many times that I stopped outside like beyond the mountains and the horizon those like three jagged peaks i hardly ever stopped and went like holy shit look at that i kind of want to run over and explore that or see what's going on and with the characters not being really relatable in their motives or whatever it made it i, th I feel like a lot of the kind of video game um dynamics really like kind of shun through or it's almost like the exposed skeleton of a rotting carcass it just didn't feel as organic as other survival games where all of these things are just handled in like a loop that feels more satisfying uh where just kind of like camping out in the hut that you built from gathering tree and like eating the meat that from hunting animals in itself is satisfying here it was just all building towards these quests that i found shut up taka that I found to not be kind of inherently satisfying. I think um, if the game had taken itself maybe a bit more seriously and not gone for laughs as often as it did and try to have like kooky, interesting characters, I would probably respect that vision more. But then again, I don't think I would have ever picked up the game if it didn't kind of have the structure of a Far Cry game. I would have looked at it and been like, this is really interesting. I'm going to go and watch uh, someone else Let's Play this. I don't really care too much about this myself. Um, so at the end of the day, uh, was it a worthwhile venture for Far Cry? I would want to say yes, but... I think it comes down to what I've said probably several times throughout this Let's Play. It would have been far uh, more engaging to me if it, would, if it was set in some sort of other historical period. Be it like China, Japan, um, like fucking the Dark Ages in Europe would have been sick, right? That would have been really, really good. And then you could have just had horses instead of vehicles. Like taming animals, uh, Beastmaster stuff, that was nonsense. Um... Playing through a Far Cry game without the wingsuit, that was fucking bullshit. Um, Far Cry, to me, has always been about kind of jumping onto a vehicle, having objectives that are kind of, kind of, um, not centered, but more like anchored in military style stuff, assassinate this person, um, take down this thing, blow up this thing. Um, the kind of the building of the village was so bare bones and so, like, didn't really... If the world was smaller and you kind of kept having to go back to the village, I could see it playing a more um, 
a, like a central role in the plot, but it really didn't. It was just a place that it kept dragging me back to, and I just ran around getting quests there, and uh, that was pretty much it. Um, yeah, I really wished it was set in another historical period. I don't really feel like I learned anything about how people lived during these times. Not that I thought I would, but this was... Uh, this was a, a lot of, uh, or like, interspersed fun gameplay in an overall uh, uninteresting open world filled with objectives that I didn't much care about, people that I didn't much relate to. Which, I mean, that goes kind of without saying. But, having said all of that, appealing to that niche audience, might ha there might be something to be said for that. Though I do imagine that if you're really into these types of, like, tribal survival style things, there's probably other games. I've said Ark Survival Evolved plenty of times. That might not fit the bill, but there's probably plenty of other games that are going to be more interesting to you and are going to probably fulfill that fantasy a bit more. Maybe this has a lot of, like... Uh, merits that I haven't recognized yet is some sort of like schlocky B-movie take on like the the caveman lifestyle just kind of like that whole it does to some degree kind of convey this like weird barbaric like I'm just a big strong man and I, I even put my hand in the fire and I crush the head and all of my friends are just a bunch of rowdy sociopaths who just they crush things and they just eat fucking raw meat with leaves wrapped around it and we jump from like huge ass mountains into like ravines and we don't care too much about fucking anything but the people didn't seem like people to me the animals just seemed like they were e either out to get me or just kind of running aimlessly around it's not really that much left of the far cry that i know and love uh, I don't even know if I would say that I regret playing this, or that I would say that it's, like, mediocre. I think maybe, like, the end of the day, I'm just kind of happy that this is not the direction that Far Cry will go in consistently. Um, though I do have to, like, say, the hunting of animals did make sense, the, the gathering of resources did make more sense. Um, I hope they remove a lot of this shit from Far Cry 5 since I'm, like, mainly about the shooting and riding around in vehicles and, like, um, fuck. There, there's a lot of things that I would like to kind of acknowledge it for, like, small things like incorporating the weapons that you're using into takedowns and, but yeah, at the end of the day, I mean, it still retains a lot of the issues from Far Cry 4. My main one being that a lot of the most interesting parts of gameplay rely on these really long-winded animations that you have no control of. And you kind of just die while you're trying to do something. And it, it I would almost say that like it expects you to temper yourself and go about things methodically and, and like pace yourself, but... I don't really think so. There's almost like an element of randomness to to a lot of encounters. When it really shines is when you're doing like multiple takedowns, finishing them off with like a knife throw to the head of it. But then having to go into like chucking spares or shooting bows and arrows at people. Sometimes it really worked for me and I got into the groove a lot of the times. A lot of times I just wished I was using some other sort of like automatic weapon. I'm going to go and Google... Um, Far Cry Primal mod uh, and see if anyone has like modded we uh, like firearms into this game. That might be interesting. But yeah, I think this has kind of been it for me. I don't think this is an experience I would recommend to people who enjoy the previous Far Cry outings. If anything, like I would enjoy to see something more like Far Cry 2, but done with the gameplay mechanics of a polished Far Cry 4. No more climbing animations, please. Just make it a bit more. Or at least if you're gonna have them in there, don't rely on, like, verticality so much. At this point, I feel like I, I'm kind of gibbering, so, uh... Yeah, that's that's been me. That's been my Let's Play of Far Cry Primal. Um, unless there's anything else for me to really do here that's gonna lead to some sort of credit sequence. But yeah, that's me. Max out See ya.
if you're hearing this, thank you so much for having suffered your way through those last few episodes. Pretty much all of them, I guess, are objectively terrible. I've had a good time, though. I like doing this stuff. See you later, and uh, have a good life, and, and take care of yourself, and be healthy, and love the people in your life that, that mean something to you. That's what I've learned from this game. See ya. Bye.